Uh, welcome back here to Bloomberg News. Uh, news of the retreat in foreign investment dollars from China became uh, losses in the Latin American markets. In, in fact, the stock market in Brazil dropping the most in eight weeks at this hour. The markets uh, continue to be under pressure around the world. But our next guest says it is time to go bargain hunting in Latin America. Will Landers, portfolio manager at BlackRock, runs a Latin America fund that's up almost 80 uh, percent this year. Uh, Will, you, you still stand by your uh, idea that equities most attractively uh, uh, priced in Latin America and presenting buying opportunities right now? Absolutely. I think uh, days like today offer a, a good opportunity to enter the market if you haven't been investing there uh, and haven't participated so far this year. Uh, we've had a positive outlook uh, for Latin America, specifically for Brazil, uh, for, for the full year. Uh, we went in with a big overweight in Brazil this year and have increased it from time to time uh, in moments like this when you have these big dips in the market. Uh, we believe that the market looks attractively priced with a P.E. for the market overall around 12 times 2010 earnings. Earnings growth will be north of 20 percent next year. Uh, and the story there being a combination of the commodity stories that we've been talking about today uh, and seeing that being under pressure, but also the domestic side of the equation looking very attractive as well. Mm -hmm. uh, we got that tick data today. Um, obviously, the, the thing that's of the most interest, it would seem, to the markets is just what China is buying and what they are not buying right now. That story holds true for Latin America because a lot of uh, interest in uh, Latin America comes from Chinese demand for commodities. When you hear uh, about a pullback in China, it doesn't cause you further worry about how some of those iron ore makers or you know other commodity uh, producing companies will fare in Latin America? Well, sure. I mean, there's that part of the equation that will, will, could be under pressure in the short term, but uh, our belief is that the Chinese story uh, is intact. It won't be one uh, negative number that's really going to have an impact over the medium to long term. Uh, so when you see a company like Valley falling 5 percent today or mm -hmm. more or less, uh, I think that does offer an interesting opportunity. You, you saw the Chinese uh, selling iron ore prices with Fortescue from Australia today, uh, and I think showing that they, they, they are looking to, to buy the commodity is just a question of price. Uh, but I think the, the reason why the Brazilian market has been as strong as it has been this year is because the Brazilian economy is relatively closed. Only 13 percent of the GDP is exported. China this year has become the biggest trading partner with Brazil, but it's only 16 percent of exports. Mm -hmm. uh, so you're not talking about being the main driver for growth in the Brazilian economy. The graph that you just showed before in terms of interest rates being at a historical low. You know, I was born and raised right. in Brazil. We've never had interest rates in my lifetime as low as we have today. That's really the driver that we think is going to keep that market going for the next couple of years. Beyond Brazil, Will, uh, what are you going in? What are you looking to buy in a market like this today? Well, you know, we have been underway in Mexico for a long time. Uh, I think the Mexican story uh, is most co closely correlated with what's going on in the U.S. Uh, so we think it's probably a little bit early to go to a neutral or overweight Mexico, but a stock like America Movo uh, is a stock that is not commodity related. It's more, uh, it's a pan regional player in the wireless world, and it's one that, that, that's our favorite stock outside of Brazil at this point uh, in terms of absolute weights. Okay. All right. Thanks so much, Will Landers of BlackRock.